Bill, Edith, Juan, Mark, Mike. Let's see you guys in here. Greg, good to see you in here too. Christian. Now there's somewhere up there we go to chat. This uh, the way they've changed Zoom, the chat when you guys talk, there you are. Uh, it's hidden over in this one little menu you gotta drop down. It used to just be like right there where it's at. We got eleven people in here so far. Greg, thanks for the picture, man. <clears throat> I love that raptor of his. It's uh it's pretty badass. All right, we're gonna get rock and rolling. It's uh it has been a monsoon on and off today here in Florida in the northwest corner where I'm at. Like uh, not 10 minutes ago, we had 60 mile an hour winds. Like water was flying down the retention ponds behind my house. That uh, awesome, Gary. That uh, well, here is the W5T disclosure required. It's on every trading. Anybody that does trading stuff, it's on here. Um, trading is very risky. Everyone already knows that. You wouldn't be here if you wasn't. That uh, you can snapshot this and read it if you want. I'm gonna make it go away. Three, two, one. Um, I want to show you guys something. Typically, when I start the charts uh, right before we start on Wednesdays, I usually clear off everything that was drawn on there before. I know I thought this was extremely interesting. All right, if we look on here, let's see, today's the 22nd, seven days ago would be what, 12 by 7, day 15. So we were over in here somewhere. And I guess I must have drawn this a couple days later, maybe. Yeah, because I drew, I drew this channel, these channels going down for it. Let me turn off uh, bits and roller coaster just so you can see real quick. And LA wait, let's turn off. Ah, just to give you an idea on this, all right, I haven't even touched the daily channel. It's on its same thing from June 28th, so basically for the last month. Been bouncing around there. Now, this is a, a one hour channel, excuse me. One hour channel going up. Uh, and then dropping down, you can, this is what I wanted to show you what was interesting as hell. I have not drawn this new channel right here since the 19th and today's the 22nd. All right, look how, okay, we bust out of that channel. Some people say, oh, it's violated, whatever. And this channel going up right here. Let me change, I'm gonna change the colors of it real quick just so it's easier to see. I'm gonna change it to an ugly looking yellow. <laughs> Let's see, this one. you don't see it. All right. Now, this is the power of channels. I don't know what the hell makes them so accurate, but they freaking are. And we typically will go back into another channel or another channel that we've been in previously, we'll go back in it and respect that channel again, or it'll be support and resistance. And this is a perfect example right here. We came off the, the long-term center channel, okay? We opened up right underneath it, or actually opened up up there. We went all the way down and touched this previous channel, pulled back up, did its thing, came back and look what we did. We went to the bottom of that channel again. And then there's your, there's your signal to go long. Going on up there. Um, back over here on this one, we came back down all the way through that channel and then bounced around that center channel line again and then took off like a freaking rocket. So keep, uh, you don't necessarily, you don't want to combine your chart with, uh, or collude it with so much crap that you can't see it uh, like mine get that way a lot but anywho 
let's take this off. And I know everybody, I do the same thing. I'm probably the only person that does the same thing every time and everybody still keeps showing back up to learn more. <laughs> it's, it's not a rocket science, man. It's, it truly really is not. All right, so let's go. Daily channel. First thing that you're going to do, we're on and we're on. Let's go back up here to, I'm gonna do it on the regular. Actually, here we go. I think this is the one I had. 15, yeah, we were right here. And then I went down. to the hour. So here's the channels we actually have because that was on the continuous contract. So here's our long term. Here's the current trend uh, hourly that's inside of there. And then this was the channel going down. As soon as we came out of there, retested it, took back off, like I said, bounced off the center, bounced off there. Let's remove the drawings. Make sure, and then over here in your uh, object tree, bottom right hand corner, anything you draw on this chart. If I draw a trend line from here to here, it's going to be over here. <clears throat> and then I can lock it, I can right click it, rename it, I can put 7, 22, 20 uh, trend line, whatever. It, uh, I can put the time there so you know when you drew it last. And then it's easy to turn them on and off. Uh, a lot of the other platforms, you have to delete whatever you put on there. And then it's like, you don't necessarily want to delete it, but you want to be able to see what you did, uh, you know, and put it back on again. Uh, so those things are there. So let's turn that off. So how we do this, grading the trade is what I call it. We want to know what the long-term trends, right? Now we know from, go back here, how long we keep going? We know the trend, it's Okay. All right, so from the pivot, yes, we want to know, I mean, in the long scheme of things, where are we at? So I'm going to say from this pivot right here, if you want to do a long, long term channel, let's just throw it on here so I can show you. Looks like. Here here look at that that is clear back from 2009 so just 11 years no big deal pretty freaking accurate in there it's a you know like once we get into those channels man it just stays in there came back down stayed in the lower half came back up down and then when everybody was freaking out when the market was going down, when we got all the way down to here, I'm like, man, that's just the bottom of the channel. We're still in an uptrend. And then even when we got all the way down to here at 2309, it's like, that's it. it. We're still in an uptrend. And all we've done is touch that lower pivot right there, 2315. So 2171. So I went a hundred some points down. Uh, that almost was a bitter point there. But going back up, but look at it. We're right back into the channel. I mean, if, if you look at the overall uh, time frame, we're still back into this channel. Look, we tested the bottom, come back up here, we, you know, took everybody's money right here in the middle, 
chopping around in the middle. But we're, we're right up here close to hitting the top of that channel line. Now we have that gap that's right here. Is that 32.65? 32.65? Thirty-two, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirteen, maybe. I don't know. I'd have to zoom in one. But uh, there's like a thirteen-point gap. But I think we're going to hit that, and then have. And when we do hit it, look where we're at. We're right at the top of the channel for it to go back down. But we're still in an uptrend. I don't care how you how you slice it. But we are going to take that channel off because right now we're only interested in what's going on right now. I don't care about 11 years ago. So we're going to draw this channel again. You know, on the daily channels, Trevor, I go through the main stuff every time over and over and over because that's what everybody needs. That, yeah, uh, Edith, if you go, uh, when you go on a five minute channel, I'm going to show you here in a second when I go to an hour, you have to take it and scroll back. And depending on the angle of the channel, you might have to scroll back a long ways on a five minute. Uh, you're, you will never find the daily channel, I can tell you that. But the hourly channel you can, which it doesn't matter. You're not gonna be trading a five minute chart on a daily channel. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense on it. <clears throat> but no, Trevor, I'm, uh, I just go through the grading of trade over and over and over and over. I don't know what my dog's doing, but there's noise and stuff flying around up there. Uh, so anyhow, we're gonna grade the trade. You're gonna draw a trend, a regression trend. You hit the, it'll say trend line at first. You click it, go all the way down here, regression trend. You're gonna click the bottom of that pivot to the current candle, gonna drop it. And that gives us a boundary of where we've been at since uh, March 23rd to July 23rd. So four months, this has been pretty, pretty damn accurate. So if you get a short signal right here, you're going to be, you're going to be looking at it like, well, I need to, you know, Hey, we've been in this uptrend for a long time. We haven't violated it. I want to, you, you want to look deeper into it. Same way with, along right here if you get hey you need to take a long going this way you're like ah that's a one you have a supply zone over there uh we're at the top of the channel i'm gonna take it but we're on a daily now we're gonna drop down to an hourly it actually doesn't look too bad on that <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she's doing, but she's pulling it tonight. Uh, so there's our hourly chart. But we don't care about, or that's a daily chart with an hourly time frame. We're going to go. We want, you want to stay focused on the current trend. And when I say current trend, it's from the current pivot of wherever we're going. So if we're going long, you know, on this current way up, is from this pivot right here. That's uh, this pivot, no, nah, because we went up here, jacked around, came back down, that's uh, not close to it, but we haven't taken this pivot low out since then. It's been steadily going up. Now, if you really wanted to zoom in, you could go in and do just from this pivot right here on, uh, for instance, let's do this one. You could do from this pivot here to the front. Small channel. It's, uh, but it's respected it quite a bit. So if you're trading on a smaller, uh, like if you're only getting in front of your computer and you have a half hour to trade, or you only have 45 minutes, something like this, this a channel like this is going to be more important to you. Now you want to know that you're getting close to the top or the center. 
you know, where you're at, which that's the center channel line. Uh, now for us, I like doing from the session that open on Sunday to current of where we're at. Uh, that doesn't necessarily always line up. Just here. And that looks really, really nice. Like really, really nice. Let's try it again. You're going to click from the open on Sunday, which is right here, 714, 1700, which is hours, which is central time, five o'clock. I'm just going to go to your current candle. Now that uh, channels, like I have mine set on, right click it for settings. The inputs are high, low, close, divided by three. It comes standard as close when you select that. So, let's see here. That, Leave it, uh, I like it on high, low, close, divided by three. It tightens the channel up a little bit and it shows those wicks poking out more. Uh, and I like those. So dropping it from here to there has been pretty darn accurate for the week so far. Now, a lot of times what I will do is I will redraw this channel daily. So if I draw it today and it's Right now, tomorrow, when we wake up, we're going to have, obviously, eight more hours, 12 more hours, whatever, uh, 12 more candles in here. I may redraw the channel again. Or I may just leave it alone because for three days, we've bounced around this thing, and kind of gives me an idea of what's going on. All right, so once you've got those in there, now this little button right here opens up your screen. So you have more screen to work with. I'm going to take away, well, I'm going to leave that channel on there for now. So we have the other trade to fit stuff on here. You have your bar number, your bias dots, your 535 oscillator, stochastic. And then I add on RSI. That's not part of, that's just a standard RSI uh, that you can pick on there. On there. Now, let's go to, we're going to add on bits. So let's see. We've got quite a few more people in here. How many people in here are new tonight that haven't been in here before? Or don't or don't have our indicators? Alright, so I've got, I've turned on bits here. And when you get bits, this is a prime example right here. I was actually talking to somebody earlier, uh, demonstrating some channels and pieces. But look how we came down, touch the bottom of that channel, and then as we come back up, look at bits. One of, uh, one of the rules of taking our trade with bits is when it crosses over the yellow line, that is the reason it goes short. Okay, now you don't automatically go short, you got to look through these other things. But the purple point of control dots were right there, we went below the purple point of control. Two reasons to go short. Now we go down here. Now, long term bias dots are green, so there's one reason not to go two yes, one no. All right, we drop down here. And our oscillator, if you look, even though we were going up, it leveled off, leveled, I'm looking at these right here. And let's see. Anyhow, I watch these oscillators right here as they get smaller. These were going up, going up, going up. Okay, now the, the next one, when this cyan line crossed over, which was our, one of our reasons to go short, if you look, the next 535 oscillator bar really small compared to the other one. The other ones were pretty like just do, 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 boom, it drops down. Now your false breakout didn't say that it was okay to go short until this candle right here down at the bottom. So we have uh, reasons to go short. We have cyan crossed over the yellow. Or the point of control box two, and then uh, and really, if you want to add another um, 
another thing on there is this is a high volume down bar, not a low volume, uh, like right here with the cyan, uh, cyan inside of that candle, that it's a full high volume down. Technically, that would be a third reason, but I'm not going to put that on for now. So we only have two reasons below the point of control dots, cyan crossed over. One reason not to take this trade bias dots are still green. Oscillator, I liked it. Three reasons to go short because we're going smaller. But we get down to the 535, or excuse me, the stochastic, the false breakout is saying do not, excuse me, go short yet until this candle right here. Well, now we're at the bottom of the channel. So this saying do not go short yet. Now we have bias dots say no, false breakout says no, and RSI was heading down clear over here though. And that's kind of like one of your early indicators of going down. So this one has been really a two and two or two and three, 50, 50. That's not a trade you're gonna take. You want five reasons, like just remember this, five. I never even thought I'd say that. You want five reasons to get, take the trade. You can have one or two maybe that say, yeah, Trevor, I'm not sure what's going on on here. That, uh, but you want five reasons to go short. That, uh, Trevor, if, uh, if you're logged in on your phone or just log out and log back in again, some, uh, you know how it is with restarting something. Sometimes it just fixes it and you don't know where. Uh, but try to look for five reasons to take the trade. If you don't have five solid, or my French ass reasons to take the trade, don't take it. Like, don't look, don't, uh, it's like a mirage in the desert that you're looking for a trade and you're looking for a reason to take it. Make sure that you have all the reasons. So, all right. So, we're not going to take, we wouldn't take this trade going down. Me personally, I probably would have taken it just because it's 10 points, 40 ticks uh, coming off of there. Oscillator's going down, uh, but you don't want to risk it. Nap bit, because you have this channel in here that you've drawn, you know we're at the bottom of the channel right now. Going back up. So this bottoms out. Pulls back up. If you read Price Action Breakdown, uh, book by Dimitri Lemire, uh, very simple, like 110 pages um, on how to draw channels, how to read them. Uh, very good book. One of the best uh, books that I've ever read. It's cheap, it's like I think nine bucks on Apple or Amazon books. Uh, so now let's go. So we. Take that trade or you not take the trade. Come back in, touch, pull back up, come back down, and you get the nice wick out and come back, which that is the sign of the big banks and institutions pushing it back into the long-term channel going up. So, yeah, Gary, it's awesome. Book. That, yes, Greg, we could go down to a lower time frame, but uh, I'm going to go on the hour for now. Uh, that just because the moves are moves are bigger it on that you're not going to get these big wicks like this on the lower time frames so it's really important to be on that hour time frame looking and then you can drop down inside of there to see what's going on to take advantage of an earlier entry and we'll look at it here in a minute on it but when that cyan line crosses over that yellow there's one reason to go along okay you can barely see them in here, but the purple point of control dots are right here. We're above the purple point of control dots. Two reasons to go along. Okay. The, and what you do is you just hover over where it crosses over. It crosses over right here. All right. Look down below. Go down that line you see on the chart. The green bias dots are long. That's where your higher time frames are going long. Okay. Drop down to the next one, your 535 oscillator. We'll look you there. Let me make this bigger so you can see it. The candles are going smaller, smaller, smaller when it crosses over, and then the next one is green. Okay? 
three, four reasons to go long. Now drop down over here, your stochastic crossed over the candle before over 20 going, crossing 20 going up, five reasons go long, okay? RSI was pointing up too, not straight up, but it was a nice curve up. Six, I mean, technically there are six reasons, but five reasons to go long. I didn't have one reason not to take that trade. Now, if you took it right there where it crosses over, you have 3207, you can see the market come back over here and try to take everybody out, 3205. So if you got a 10, 12, yeah. I personally run a 10 to 14 tick stop loss depending on what I'm doing, especially uh, when the market's taking off at 7, 8, 20, 9 o'clock in the morning, flipping around. Uh, that would have kept you in that trade right there. Depends on your account balance, risk management, all that good stuff. You need to figure out that stuff on your that's just what I personally run when I do. Tends to keep me in there. But once it crossed through there, that's it. And then it went all the way to the other side of the channel. Wait, so 3207 went to 3271. So I don't know, what are the 240, 250 ticks out of there? And, it, and this is just looking at our bits indicator. I ain't using anything else but this stuff here and the bits. Now, if I turn on Elliott Wave, all right, turning on Elliott Wave, when uh, there's more confirmation, so we have five reasons. This blue and red line are your 6 4 moving average. One of the rules is going long above. If you're going to go long, you need to be above the 6 4, which Six four was exactly right there. Six reasons to go long. So I have zero reasons not to take this trade. Six reasons to take it. You want to also say the high volume uh, candle bar. Seven reasons to take this trade. Zero not to take it. And look how it turned out. It turned out really really good. So let's go over here. So we have the twentieth at two o'clock. So let's go over here. For Greg, let's drop down to 15. Um, um, I haven't even turned on the roller coaster yet. Let's see, right here. All right. On the 15 minute chart, Look at this channel. Cyan crossed over exactly on the channel line, so that like that would be even better. Uh, but if you noticed, we didn't get to. Now this is good that you see. I call them stair steppers. That you're getting a, a, a lower, a higher low, and a higher low, and a higher low, and a higher low, and a higher high, higher high, higher high. That going out of there, uh, compared to that one hour, you get the nice big long wick. And you'll be able to see that big wick. You need to be able to see that because uh, it's, you know, it, it's telling you, hey, look at this to go in whatever direction that it may be. So that's on 15 minutes. So let's turn on roller coaster and see what we got out of here. So roller coaster had a move down here on the bottom, and then it gave you an alert up here at 32. Nine. And then it stopped itself out at 3209. It just barely went. Well, it went up to 3221. Uh, then it came back and stopped itself out. Uh, it just stopped itself back out after it. Not a huge move on there. That's a 15 minute roller coaster on there. But it wasn't prefaced to that full move. Let's drop down to five minutes. Here now down on a five minute chart. You get a lot more noise, but you 
at what we have right here. We have this way it moves down. That's right. Touch the bottom of the channel, pull back up, and pull back down. This is a thick way of move right here that you can see. I do not usually turn on Elliott Wave. Uh, I have it on there for the 6 4 moving average lines. I don't turn it on until I see. So I see one of these big roller coaster moves because that's usually the third wave move. Uh, my eyes, I can physically look at it and just look at it and say, hey, that's a, like, I see right here, one, two, three, fourth wave pullback, fifth wave move down to the bottom channel line. Now, when we hit that uh, fifth wave target right there, I'm going to tighten my stop loss up immediately, especially since it went down to touch the bottom channel line out of there. So let's go. This was a very small one in here. Um, that one happened so fast you don't even have time to get in. Uh, I don't like taking uh, moves where there's 15 freaking candles, 20 candles, and it goes like pointing sideways. You're just going to get chopped up in those. I like as Paul says, seven to ten candles and an Elliott wave move. Let's see. Get into this. So it's just too many candles. Now, if you look, the third wave was at the top of, and I haven't isolated on here, guys. So let's, let's see. Um, We want to go to yesterday's fire club. So here we are at so it's going to be right here. That's, and that's going to be the high yesterday. So if we look over here on the left, the bar number, uh, hover over a candle, 20,548. So we're going to turn back on. Rocket 20,000. Click enter. It's going to recalculate this. Mike, 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 check Gary. Can you hear me okay? And guys, it could be my internet here that uh, since it's been raining like no tomorrow. Uh, Is used to create a bias indicator. Yeah, Edith, um, I know you've asked that like three or four times. You're not always going to have a C wave. You get, like you got to understand that. There's not always going to be five waves. You might have a one, two, three, and then it gets violated and it goes away. And then the wave count just goes completely away. And then it may go into. No, I live in Florida, man. It, the internet, there's only one provider in this neighborhood that I'm in, and I do not like them, but I don't have a choice. Uh, that, uh, but the waves, it, they recalculate all the time. They're always calculating to see if they match where you're at. Like right now, this from where I isolated, okay, there was an A and a B correction. And then somewhere in there, it was actually calculating because you can see the, I painted the green, yellow, and red, and then it got violated. Then there was an A correction, but there wasn't a B correction. Then it met the count for a wave one, a wave two, wave three, wave four, and a wave five. And it, it had a fifth wave move. Like this was actually a decent, uh, not a, well, it's a decent amount of points right here. We had a nice move down, all right? So we isolated off of this high right here, which was the previous day's high, which I think 6.30, 6.30 at night? 6.30 in the morning yesterday uh, was the high. 
So we isolated off that. We got to one, two, three. So when the wave three is coming down, I'm gonna turn it on. See, roller coaster didn't pick up that third wave move there. But I want you to look. Look how freaking accurate that channel was. So, I mean, we closed and opened on the channel line exactly to the T. All right. So you know. Now, typically, we're going to draw a regression channel from your third wave to your fourth wave, but we're not going to draw one on here because there's only two candles, so you're not going to get really much of a channel. Uh, your owl out of this is to for your short. It looked. I mean, you did your third, fourth, and fifth wave in three candles, three, four, five. That uh, that typically doesn't happen like that, but for if you want to grade your trade for going short, let's turn on bias. Let's see where we're at. No, bias got you in way up here on the third wave, so you just ran it all the way down. Uh, but we were below the purple point of control dots right there. One reason to go short. Got a high volume bar going down. Two reasons to go short. We were below, there's your blue and red 6-4 moving average. You're below the 6, you want to be below the red line to go short on the short. You want to be above the blue line to go long. We're below the 6-4 moving average. Three reasons to go short. Okay? Go straight down, hover your mouse over that candle. Go straight down and look down below. Uh, bias dots are red, so the higher time frames are in components to go short. Four reasons to go short. Now, oscillator. Uh, I'm going to say no, all right? And the only reason why I say no is because it's already, the candles are not getting really much bigger. Uh, they're about the same damn size. So I'm going to say no, okay? So we have four yeses, one no. Stochastic uh, down here on that bar going down was actually raising up, not down. Two reasons not to take this trade. Four yes, two no, uh, and that's it. I didn't get any more, there wasn't any more reasons for me to take this trade, so this is a no, four and two, no. You want five, that, you want five solids and either zero negatives or maybe one, you know, like this oscillator or something. So don't take this trade. We're gonna keep going now, if you go on to, all right. Let's look at 14. If you want to use roller coaster inside of those channels, and that's what I like. Let's take off I like using roller coaster and bits inside of the channel that really So here is kind of that current trend channel. And roller coaster pulled a move, obviously going into it before we drew it. Uh, but you always want to go backwards and look at your roller coaster to see if it's in the groove. Okay? Yes, yes, and little one, little one. I would say no on this one. Uh, and hell yes on this one. This one. Nice move up on there. So you've got one, two, three, four good ones, one little one, five, six, six and two, seven and two, never activated, never activated. So four minutes isn't bad. So let's go down to three minutes. All right, same deal. Now look at three minutes. Come down and activated right over here at 3263. 3263 or all the way up to 66. Depending on where your stop loss is at, risk on that one. But let's let's dig into that one. But why you I'm not gonna sit here and point out, oh, here's a good trade, you should take it. Okay. Before 
roller coaster has you getting in at 3263.25. That's the alert that it gave you over here at 1700. Okay. So, so is it tonight. All right. It never activated. We went down and touched it, and then the next candle it came back up and went. Now, if you have your channel on here, you would have known as soon as that candle opened, it rocketed down through the channel pulled back, and then the next one opened up on the channel line to go up. Cyan also crossed over right there. So you have, let's see, what is that, 3266, and it ran out to 70. It's only four points, but it's a three-minute chart. So one, two, three, four, 12 minutes. You get to 12 ticks, it's not a bad deal. Uh, and you had every reason to take that trade for above the purple point of control dots, one, cyan crossed over, two, bias dots are green. Um, your oscillator is still green. Kind of risky to me because it's going down. I'm gonna say one no and three yeses. So, uh, stochastic arrow you got over here on that candle, the next candle that popped through. So there's four and your RSI is going up and there's five. So. I got five reasons and one re five reasons to take it, one not. I'm gonna take that, I would take that one there. Now coming back, you see you're gonna get this chop over here around the center channel line. That's a, I don't mess with the center channel line unless it is one of these uh, roller coaster moves. Like I won't take a trade in the middle of a channel because I don't know where it's gonna go. Is all, are we gonna go lower, are we gonna go higher? But if I get a roller coaster uh, signal, plus bits confirms it, then I'm more apt to take that. But let's back to this one, why, why you want to take it. Take it or not take it this one. Bits, cyan came over here, we had a lot of chop, a lot of chop, cyan came over here, retested, 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 and then took off down below. Ah, uh, let's see here. Yes, Edith, that's what I just went through. That uh, I'm gonna go, let me go through them again. Let's go to a four minute. Okay. Here is a four minute, and look at this. It picked off a nice run over here at one o'clock. About right, 1 30. Took off over here. All right. Go right here. So why why would you take this trade right here at twelve twenty four seven? Cyan came down, bounced off the yellow, came back. If you see right here, there's a little arrow right here. Let's move on. But look at the cyan line crossed over. Not only did it cross over the yellow, look where it crossed over. It crossed over the center channel line. Okay, cyan crossed over the yellow, one reason to go short. There's your purple, you can see it in here, right here. Right here, and then we'll come down. The purple point of control dots are below that. There's two reasons to go short. Let me turn off. We were below the 6-4 moving average, this red line right here. We crossed over it a little bit, I don't know, a couple ticks, uh, three ticks later than when uh, that's did. So now you have three reasons to go short. All right. You also, if you look over here, we've been green, 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 just one yellow, green, 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 boom. We've got a yellow dot saying change of direction possibility. Four reasons. Your oscillator has gone a high, has small little crown, back down again, small little crown, and it's getting smaller if you look on here for that candle. It's dropped down compared to the other ones if you look at it. There's five reasons to go short. Uh, and then your stochastics both crossed over the candle before with a high volume down, that blue crossover your red going down, so it turned around, going down. 
So now you're at six reasons to go short. RSI, uh, right before, crowned out, two candles before, pointed out. The thing I like about RSI, guys, if you guys watch it, is just watch it. Uh, it's typically, I call it the precursor to what's going on half the time. You can get a pretty damn good idea of what's going on, like um, right here. It pivoted right here and then pointed up. Well, it pivoted. Look where it pivoted on. It stopped on the bottom channel line. And then pivot to go long. The very next candle, it went long. So it was, this is a four-minute chart. So four minutes earlier than the actual move, RSI is telling you to go long. It's uh, on it. So, Edith, let's, uh, let's go through this grading here, okay? If you're going to take this trade going up, that's, uh, we've come down, we bounced off this bottom channel line. Let me turn off. We bounced off and let me take off. Came down that move. We're bouncing, come up, retested again. And you're thinking about taking the long. All right. Cyan, all right. If this one here came up and then turned around, came right back down, but look, cyan didn't cross the yellow, so you didn't have a reason to go long. So here we go, cyan crosses over, which I'm gonna keep my mouse to the right so you see the cyan line crosses over. All right, cyan crossed over the yellow line. There's your one reason to go long, look on it, okay? Two reasons to go long is you're above the purple pointed control dots. So right there by that gray candle, okay, which is right here. I'm hovering over the sign and line so that you can see it. So you're above the purple point control dots, cyan cross over the yellow. Now go hover over that candle and go down and look. We have a green bias dot for long-term time frames are saying go long. Three reasons to go long. Okay, your 535 oscillator, if you look, we've got shorter, 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 shorter. There's no, um, you know, like leveling off a little bigger, bit uh, shorter, and that one was really short. So to me, that's four reasons, is that four or five, uh, four reasons to go long there. And then over here, your stochastics, we didn't get a crossover because it's already been discontinued and climbing. But I don't see any uh, anything like over here where the blue's crossing over the red and going down. Everything is up, going up. So there's five, six reasons to go long. Your RSI on the candle before, if you look right here at the bottom, uh, pivoted to go up. There's six reasons to go long. And then if you wanted to add that that gray is a high volume up, or excuse me, uh, low volume up. Uh, it went up, uh, it's not green, so I'm not gonna count that as a positive, but if it was green, then you'd have seven reasons to go long. But the main thing for me of why I would go long is it's on the bottom of that channel. And there's eight reasons to go long. Seven, you have seven, eight reasons to go long and almost none. And look where that move went. Went from one end of the channel to the other. Let's do, um, Let's see what time is it? 7.48. Let's do uh, no stocks, guys, but uh, you like to put a line on 50. All right, that's pretty good. That uh, I've never, you, uh, I honestly, Tim, I've never paid attention to the number. I just look at the tip of the RSI to see where it's going. <laughs> that's what I've always done. You're welcome, Edith. Did that answer your question, though, Edith? I hope so. Um, one of the other things, Edith, that, um, oh, here, I turned off Elliott Wade. Your eighth or ninth reason to take that trade is going to be you are above the 6-4 moving average, which the blue line is right there. So there's your eighth or ninth reason. Uh, there's your blue and red 6-4 moving average. You want to be above the blue going long, below the red going short. So that would have been your eighth reason to go long. Uh, on it, but let's let's run over to uh, let's just do Russell. Uh, 
only, I'm just going to run through Russell super fast. Uh, if you were grading this, uh, grade this. All deals. Okay. So I like this trend from here from March 19th to now. It seems to be pretty common. I use a white channel for daily for these webinars, uh, just so I don't forget. And one hour is a red channel. Uh, that way it's just consistent for everybody. So here we are on a daily. Let me go down quickly to one hour. Zoom back. There's our daily channel on a one hour chart. And now I'm going to look for some opportunities in here. Now, here is 1700. This candle right here is Sunday. So I'm going to click the regression channel. It says 15 minute no background. That's what I saved it as originally, but that's what I use now. Uh, I'm going to go from the open on Sunday to now. And look how accurate that has been on RT Lot. That really accurate. So, so this is the yeah, honest. So let's turn on, let's go down to 15 minutes, zoom back a little bit, catch up, there's our channel that we're on, and then add on bits, zoom in, let's see like on this move, There's a nice one right here that crossed over. Now it crossed over up here above the center channel line. I wouldn't have taken that because it's uh, there's a, a heavy resistance and it did. If you look, we jacked around in that thing for a long time on 15 minutes. Let's go to five minutes. Uh, it should be clear. But you always want to do your channel. On the higher time frame, so that you, because you, everybody always, you always hear people talking about, uh, does it mean anything when the price is below the middle channel? Uh, no, not really. It's just in that part of the channel. You know what I mean? You're just like when we drop down to this bottom part, we typically play around there for a while, and then when we pop up to the top part, play around there for a while. This one came out, and now we're playing around the top channel. Doesn't matter, uh, doesn't really matter to me. I just, if I'm in the lower part of the channel, I'm not going to probably take too many shorts because we're probably going to go up. If I'm in the up, the top part of the channel, I'm not going to take very many longs because we're probably going to be going down. Uh, but let's zoom in here. Let's put this one right here. We've come across on that center channel line. We want to go through multiple. Uh, all right, so the four minute roller coaster picked it up. And I was telling you, the on a four minute. Cyan came over here and crossed over in this area over here, but I'm not going to take that because it's right at the center channel line. And we did, I mean, don't get me wrong, 1466, 71 in this five, that's 50 ticks, 250 bucks a contract, regular contract. But look how the market right here, 1700, look up, came down, 
down that open. Came back up, retested that yellow line. Cyan crossed over your yellow right here. Okay. Now, so you had no reason to go short right now. It's, it, Mark is just chopping around, chopping everybody off. Now we're getting close to an opportunity here. And Cyan crossed over the yellow right here. Well, how convenient. Roller coaster also popped up and said, hey, keep an eye on this. Uh, we look like we have a long going on. So Cyan crossed over the yellow. One reason to go long. Here's the purple point of control box. We're above the purple point of control box. Two reasons to go long. Okay. Now, the very next candle turned yellow, which was good. Now, the next one was red, and then you got your first green, which I, you guys know on Wednesdays, I tell everybody the step. I don't take the first step. I let it go out and pull back, which it did exactly what it did, and then I take it after it gets outside of this area right here. Three reasons to go long. You got your green dot down there. Four reasons to go long. Stochastics. Uh, or your oscillator has gone green and growing, five reasons to go long. Um, now you've got your crossover three candles before, uh, or no, one candle. One candle before, six reasons to go long. You see this right here. And RSI is kind of flat though, um, so I'm not going to count that. No, I wouldn't, it's not a, not a reason not to take it, but it's not pointing straight up in the air either. So I have five reasons. Now I got six reasons because roller coaster has put in here to go long out of there. And if you took it out of there, that's 1469 and went up to 1471. Not a lot, but I mean, you're three candles, you're 12 minutes uh, to pull a few dollars. I, I don't know. 69, 60 to 71. So two dollars and Something like since there's 10, 25 times 500 some bucks or 12 minutes. Not a bad little treat if you're trying to find something in there. But then look at this one. It comes right back around, crosses over. You're at your center channel line to go short. And it takes off like a rocket going down. When Cyan crossed over, look at this. We had a lot of indecision. And then red, where it crossed over right here. Going down, your oscillator got smaller, smaller, smaller. RSI was pointing down from clear over here at the high up there, but right there, RSI points down on the table. Yes, like Trevor, uh, your odds are in your favor, uh, for instance, depending on which side, which part of the channel you're on. You know what I mean? It's like, the overall trend is up, okay? Uh, but if the, if the daily channel is up, but the current trend is down, you don't want to be, uh, you want to be taking trades in the same direction as the trend. And right now, this trend is up. But if we're on this half of the uh, channel, more than likely you want to take a short going down. Uh, if we're on this half of the channel, like, for instance, right now, this has come down and almost touched the center channel line. I don't know. It may bust through or it may take off and go up. I mean, look at the oscillator. Come down, it set a lower, it set a higher low, a higher low and a higher low right here. See how it's going up. Uh, you do have a yellow dot uh, going long. You've got your stochastics crossed over right here. The only thing that worries me about this, though, is if you look, look at your uh, stochastics here. The blue line and red lines. The blue, when it crosses over the red, is typically when it's going down. So that would be a no for me. I, I want them going like this, not the other. But yeah, I mean, pretty much, uh, I mean, let me turn off uh, bits and roller coaster for you. And let's go 15 minutes. And you tell me which way, which 
which one of these, Trevor, do you think is your best bet of where you're at? You know, it's like center channel line you can get chopped up on. You can see a lot of chop going on in here. But when we get to the tops or bottoms, we don't spend a lot of time down. So having these channels on your chart, you can have like every indicator in the world and uh, you need to know where you're at in the, uh, in the trend. And these are higher probability trades when you're at the tops and bottoms of those channels. If that channel's been respected, you know what I mean, for a long time, uh, that you just have a higher uh, probability of it being a trade that'll work out. But you gotta go in and grade all the rest of these. So you can look at, if you get down into say a four minute chart, you're not gonna see and you still see them a little bit, but uh, they're not as not as bad. You can still see the points down there. The, what I like about with the 15-minute chart is you can just see clearly this day if one candle touches it and it's off. Uh, now, when you see those during the day, then you can drop down to your five-minute, turn on your bits, turn on your Elliott wave, and find your entry point where that cyan crosses over. Uh, you might be able to get in two points early or three points early depending on where you're at. Now, if you get a roller coaster move that pops off uh, on top of that, you know, like this one here, it uh, came through, that I could turn roller coaster off and see how it came through, retested this center channel line to go down. Well, if you get a roller coaster move that says go short, that's an extra odds enhancer. You're not just relying on uh, roller coaster, you have your channel as a guide, kind of like a, if you want to say a GPS map, you know, hey, we're in this direction. Um, it's an extra odds enhancer. And then, you know, you go down below, bias dots are red, oscillators down, the, everything you, uh, you just go back through grading them of why to take the trade or not to take the trade. It's like, now we didn't get a crossover right here. It uh, actually got an arrow to go long. Just never know. Markets have been crazy, guys. I mean, if y'all haven't uh, been on there um, watching them lately, it's been uh, that nothing makes any sense. I mean, how does Tesla, that basically is a bankrupt company that has their debt, don't make money? I mean, they they're selling stuff, but it's like they don't make money, and they just keep going higher, higher, higher. It uh, doesn't make any sense. Hey, look on here right now. We're on, now this is a 15 minute. We're bouncing off. If you guys want to stay on here, we'll see what happens. Uh, it popped up right here for a second. Here it is right here. So this is the beginning of a roller coaster move. Uh, then it's saying on 15 minutes. So let's go down to five minutes. Let's see, what we have. Let's see if we can find an opportunity to take this trade. Four, three, there we go. Two minutes. So this is where we're at. So we have a roller coaster move on two minutes right now. Okay. But that 15 minute chart was popping up saying that the longer time for a higher time frame is showing a okay now look here we go we're in this trade go back to the four well hold on a second well here, i'll go back to the four now i mean cyan crossed over right here on the four minute but we're opposite on it Sorry, that, uh, so let's go back to two. So cyan crossed over right up here at 1487, okay? Come on. Can't jump, uh, can't jump around in time frames. Uh, Okay, so we know this red line right here is the center channel line. 
All right, we know we're going to probably get some heavy resistance, which in our eyes stopped right there and pulled right back up. But cyan crossed over right here at 14.877. Cyan crossed over yellow, one reason to go short. We're below the point of control box, two reasons to go short. Uh, when it crossed over, you got a yellow dot, which has been green, 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 green forever, yellow dot. Uh, Oscillator went smaller, 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 smaller. When it crossed over right there, it was almost non-existent. Three reasons to go short. The stochastic crossed over the very next candle uh, after it crossed over. Three, re four reasons to go short. The RSI's been pointing down since clear over here, but it peaked out over here. Five reasons to go short. And that one was worth 1487, went down. Uh, and two I mean, 20 ticks. Uh, but you got to think this is a two minute freaking chart. So one, two, in six minutes, you got 20 ticks. Uh, that was a 20 tick possibility down here. And, but if you didn't have your channel in here, you'd have no idea that you weren't going to run into some resistance right here, which we did. Look at it. It's rocketing off like a mother on this one. It's, uh, now look at that big old wick. Big banks and institutions pushing it. Yeah, that's why being on the higher time frames, you need to see what's going on on those. They're pushing it back up in there because that's the direction they want. They want to keep this in this uptrend. At the bottom here, came back. Sellers are trying to push it through, trying to put, look at all those reds. Pushing, 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 pushing. Buyers come back in saying, no, we want to move it back up. Who knows? Maybe it'll go back up that way. But all right, guys. Thanks for hanging out tonight. That, uh, appreciate all coming in. If you have something specific you want, email me. I'm gonna put my email in the uh, box there. If you have something specific you want me to cover, uh, I'm not going to go bounce around in stocks and stuff because I do not do stocks. Uh, I want to do futures. So um, kind of being the blind, leading the blind on that one. I mean, it's still great at trade and do all the things you do, but I'm, I don't deal with stocks on a regular basis to give you good advice uh, or my opinion. I guess I don't, I don't have an educated opinion on stocks to be able to do that. Uh, but anyhow, y'all have a good night. Yeah. You're welcome, Gary.